And they're off racing for the Kipco Sussex Stakes, part of the British Champion Series. Fahar jumps out alertly, so alertly, that he's just about alongside Bullet Train in the early stages. Bullet Train's rider had a look across, and Frankel is just going to drop onto the pacemaker's back, and Fahar, in turn, is content to shadow Frankel in third place, and they've dropped into Indian file with Gabriel at the rear of the field. So Bullet Train, with a few anxious looks over his shoulder, Ian Mongan, to ensure he's setting the right pace for Frankel, who's in his slipstream in the pink cap. Fahar is content to do what try to try and do what Canford Cliffs couldn't 12 months ago, slipstream Frankel and get on top close home. And Gabriel is last of the quartet as they wend their way around this lower bend into the straight. Bullet Train just increasing the ante. Frankel still doing it easily in second place. Far in third, and Gabriel just niggled along, last of the quartet. So running downhill, bullet train with Frankel, exuberant on the descent. Fahar in third place, just a couple of lengths off them. For the first time, Frankie de Tori is changing his hands, and bullet train with Frankel, imperious alongside at the moment. A look glance over the shoulder. Fahar pulls out, and Gabriel, they're both trying to mount their challenges, but Frankel continues on his imperious way, passing the two. Fahar being pushed along, then bullet train, and then Gabriel, the moment about to evolve when Frankel, the button is pressed, and he begins to stretch away. Fahar in second place. This is the moment. This is what makes him such a a great racehorse, an instant turn of foot, and horses that are top class in their own light are made to look pedestrian. Frankel dismisses his rivals with contempt. 12 out of 12, a second Kipco Sussex Stakes, an eighth Group 1. Frankel beat far by a long way. Gabriel and Bullet Train, the next two home.